Welcome to Urban Terrain. In this video, we will guide you through the assembly process of your brand new bike. Let's get started. Carefully cut open the box from all sides. Remove the bike from the box packaging, ensuring not to damage any contents inside. Carefully keep it upright and take help if needed. Cut the cable zip ties and carefully remove the foam packaging. Do not scratch or damage any components. Let's have a look at the parts you get inside the box. User manual, front and back fenders, left and right pedals, saddle and seat post with a back reflector, allen keys with a wrench, bottle holder, bicycle air pump. Let's begin by attaching the handlebar to the stem. Place the cycle on the floor as shown in the video. Unscrew the four bolts using the provided Allen key. To open the stem cap, you have to rotate the Allen key anti-clockwise. Hold the base plate while unscrewing the last bolt. Remove the stem cap base plate and grab the handlebar. Center your handlebar onto the stem and reinstall the base plate. Tighten the bolts evenly, clockwise, to reattach the base plate using the Allen key. Make sure the cables pass cleanly in front of the bike. After locking the handlebar, adjust the front white reflector and tighten its screw with a screwdriver. It's time to attach the front wheel. Remove the fork protection bolt and the safety cap from the wheel. Before installing the wheel, unscrew the outer nut and washer from the axle hub and place the cycle fork on the wheel mounting slots on the axle. Make sure to slide the wheel disc rotor in between the brake pads. Put the washer and the nut on the wheel bolt and tighten it first with your hand. Repeat the process on the other side. Now use the wrench to tighten both sides properly. Now let's attach the front fender. You must remove the bolt and nut from the fork crown to attach the front fender. Slide the fender in place until the screw tab lines up perfectly with the hole on the fork crown. Securely attach the fender to the fork crown using the provided bolt and nut. Use a screwdriver to tighten it if needed. Now lift the cycle from the handlebar. Spin the wheel with your hand and apply the front brake to check its functioning. Now let's attach the pedals to your bike. The pedals are right-left specific. They have left and right markings on the pedal spindle. Double check the marking before attaching them to the pedaling rod. Let's install the left pedal. Place the left pedal in the placeholder on the opposite side of the chain and lock it by rotating the spindle anti-clockwise. Hold the pedal and use the wrench to properly tighten the spindle. Attach the right pedal that goes on the same side of the bike as the chain. Rotate the spindle clockwise to tighten it. After the initial threading with the hand, give it a final tightening using the wrench. Let's attach the seat post. Begin by sliding the back reflector into the ring attachment and placing this ring below the saddle on the seat post. Slide the seat post in the corresponding tube. Make sure you surpass the minimum insert marking and then lock the lever as per your desired height. Generally, you keep the saddle 2 to 3 inches below your waistline. Also, adjust the back reflector to approximately 5 degrees from perfectly vertical to the ground. Tighten the reflector screw with a screwdriver if needed. Let's attach the back fender. To attach the back fender, first remove the bolt and nut from the rear fork crown. Slide the back fender in place until the screw tab aligns perfectly with the hole on the rear fork crown. 
Lock the fender by securely tightening the bolt and nut using a screwdriver and the wrench. Now attach the bottle holder cage by removing the bolts with the provided Allen key and rotating them anti-clockwise. Now attach the bottle holder cage on the provided placeholder and tighten the screws clockwise using the Allen key. That was easy, right? Now you're all set to start your cycling journey and build a fitter version of yourself with your favorite bicycle.